Rest, all right, in respect to Bobriski, what I'm about to post now, um, a lot of names will be mentioned. Um, these are people that I also respect, and I believe a lot of Nigerians respect them as well. I am very, very disappointed in the agencies that are involved in this, and um, I believe that this call recording that I'm about to play, even Bob Risky will not expect it. <laughs> that is what is crazy. But all the people that will be mentioned, I don't care. You understand? I don't care. And from today, no longer respect for all of you. You understand? Because all of them are the same. And it's pretty obvious that in Nigeria, the law only work against the poor people. Do you understand? Now, after this video, I would expect that the EFCC would do a deep investigation on everybody that is involved in this case. And also, they will bring the whole officers that participated in this and collected and spent this money that is involved. Thank you very much. So I will start by playing um, the call. As you can see, it is a call. Listen. Papa, you know, I'm a very big influencer. I have over 5 million followers on my Instagram. So my Facebook. And they are paying me uh, on my Facebook every month. So I'm okay. So they were like, yeah, all those money cannot still make me buy a house of 450 million and pay no. And we are staying in a Chevron, blah, 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 blah. The shah put the money laundry shah. They charged me to court. So when they charged me to court, we had to beg them that, okay, if they want to remove the money laundry, how much would they collect? They said we should go and bring 15 million uh, that they will remove the money laundry. Now, this is one part of the video. A lot of things will be unveiled. First things first, you heard it from Bob Risky. Um, EFCC charged them, charged him 15 million naira to remove the money laundry charge that was charged against him. If you remember when this case against Bob Risky starts, there was a money laundry charge, but from nowhere they removed, they dropped the money laundry charge. So obviously, Bob Risky paid EFCC 15 million naira to remove the money laundry charge. It's crazy that EFCC claim that they are fighting against financial crime. Do you understand? But they are deeply involved in financial crime. So they remove the money laundry. Anyways, let's continue. There's a lot of things in this um, call recording. To my friend, I called my friend, you know, because I can't use my account. I wanted to send money from my account, but he said, I'm still under investigation. I cannot withdraw from my account. So I now called a few of my friends. You know, Polanco, LLA. Mm -hmm. That Polanco, yeah, is my very good friend. So I called him. I told him. I was like, ah, no, I can't want to send the whole I can't want to send the whole He now gave me, I gave him my brother's account. He now sent eight million. Uh, wait, he can't want to send the same year. Yeah. I was even shocked sure that he can send that kind of amount of money. He said, ah, I'm going to give you a very nice person. So, I called the Mola, the Mola in New York, he knows my friend too. Mm -hmm. The Mola sent to one million naira because I had to call the people I'm close to, people I trust. I feel the Mola sent me one million, yeah, the Mola sent me one million naira immediately, transferred one million naira to my account. Then I called other few people because I can't start making call because I, I don't know who set me up. So let me not start calling the, the wrong people. Do you understand? Sure. Uh, so I called the people I trust. So the, the money share complete with children and I paid. They now remove money laundry. They now took me to court for spraying of money. Okay. And I know that... The so, you heard him. After I paid the money to EFCC, EFCC removed money laundry and they now removed that charge and took him for spraying money. Do you understand? So, EFCC, you people collect money to drop charges. This is crazy. And these are the people that want to fight for financial crime. Tomorrow night, you're going to tell us you will arrest Ayabelu. Are we sure that if you arrest him, you will not collect money for dropping charges? Wow. EFCC. This is crazy. But anyways, it doesn't end here. Let's continue. The old things, the old things started from, the old things started from when they gave me best female dress. You saw that video, Abby? That they gave me best female dress. Yes. That's yes, when the yes, old I things, did. yeah. Yeah, that's when the old days started from, you know, jealousy, everything. Mm, so mm. we shall we shall have got to court. I shall have told them that I'm guilty that ah, 
maybe God will even pity me or say, oh yeah, pay fine. I know. Or, or community service. Sadly, the court sentenced me. So, you know, I was on my way to the prison. Then my godfather called me and said, you will not enter that prison. Don't worry. Let me make arrangements for an apartment close to the prison. Uh, it's going to call the um, it's going to call the controller in my that's overall in Nigeria and Abuja and I'm talk to them. They shall talk before I come back, Sha. They now took me to one apartment that I must not come out till I finish my sentence. That's so that the um, that Oga the Oga said they should that. come out. The Oga said they should come and keep me here that I mustn't um I mustn't go like enter data, but nobody should know that I'm not there. Yes. They don't. So they said the guy will call him money. So he wanted to give them seven. Wait, 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 wait. Who is this Bob Risky's godfather that called the controller general of prison in Abuja and instructed him that he should not let Bob Risky to enter prison? And the controller general of prison now gave Bob Risky. An apartment outside the prison. Do you understand? An apartment outside the prison that he should act. He should stay there and he will not enter the prison. So Bobriski didn't go to prison, obviously. Basically, the prison, obviously, is for the poor men and for the poor masses. So this is how the EFCC come and lie to us. Say they don't prove somebody. They don't arrest one big man for financial crime. But they will not go arrest the man. They don't go sentence him or carry him. Go give him one law somewhere and he no go enter prison. This is what is going to, going on in Nigeria. Do you understand? The law is only against the common and the poor man. Now the poor man they go prison. But Bobriski, one godfather somewhere, that godfather you go come out, and the controller of prisons, the controller general of prisons, you have to come out and defend this. If not, me, I will continue rubbishing your name online, the controller general of prisons. So this is how they call you to remove prisoners. Eh? After the court have sentenced a prisoner, you will remove them. But that's not all. Let's continue. Like millionaire, I had to call Eli Lane again because there's nobody for me to call. Eli gave me, um, give me one, uh, two million, the balance of two million. So now the, so I'm supposed to come out in, um, I'm supposed to come out in what's it called, ending of July next month. Okay. Twenty nine. Bad guy. His father is a is a son. So first reach out to me, his father spoke to me, his father said, we can apply for pardon. Okay. That pardon, the president, because you know it's... Wait, Faust the bad guy, I can't even believe this, Faust the bad guy contacted Bob Risky and Femi Falano contacted his father and his father, Femi Falano, spoke to Bob Risky in order to divert justice. And this same Faust, if this story is true, this same files, we have the audacity to come out and say he's fighting against the government for oppression. That he wants justice, he wants Nigeria to be better. So that like this, you didn't carry yourself. I don't even want to believe that Femi Falano will bring himself down to this level. A whole Femi Falano will be Fela lawyer, where we respect. Femi Falano will engage himself in something like this. Wait, wait, wait. What is the relationship between files and Bobriski? I be files said they do. Oh, okay. Who are we to crucify the homosexual? Most of them don't they evolve from time. Everybody is a motherfucking hypocrite, though. No, oh, now that song, they make sense to me. Wait, I be found self they do. This is crazy. Well, anyways, <laughs> let's continue. Hey, now, wow. Nigeria. It's mm -hmm. Fedra that, uh, my, my, my kiss is Fedra. That's so that. The federal can actually pardon me. That's the president. That he can do it. That I, if, if they pardon me, I can even leave here by next week. Do you understand? I don't have to wait till like uh, ending of next month. Okay. okay. So the man started the pardon. He said he wants to send it to the uh, minister, minister of justice in Abuja. So minister of justice will now send it to president to approve it. But you know Nigeria now, Nigeria with the corruption and everything. 
you take it fast to him. That the man, the lawyer said they will collect 10 million naira for him to get that. That pardon will clear my name off the record. Of the record, which is not yes. bad. That which exactly. So, you know, there's nobody to call because, like, I have friends, so, but you know, you don't know who set you up, you know, and they've not opened my account. All right, so based on this first voice notes, based on Bobriski's narration in this uh, phone call, Bobriski is saying that Femi Falano collected 10 million Nera in order to wipe his name off the record. Wow, these are people I respected, these are people I look up to. Found the bad guy always talking about, yeah, I'm speaking up for the people. So you are also involved in things like this. It's really, really disappointing. It's obvious that Nigeria might not go anywhere anytime soon. It's obvious. Say Nigeria, I have lost 100% respect. Respect for this. Unless if they come and come defend this one, saying a lie. But for now, uh, we'll take what Bobriski is saying as the truth. Because Bobriski said all these things, like he contacted... Uh, somebody to borrow him money and the person recorded everything now uh, just in case uh, Bob Risky go on argue let me drop your number uh, this is your number eh? now why so this is your number your number ends with uh, 2208 that's what your number ends with so this is you actually you cannot deny anything so EFCC I will expect you people to bring to do a deep investigation and bring all the people involved to the dumb out of justice if you know you truly fight against financial crime and this particular crime went deep down inside your own custody and it's really crazy and the controller general of prison i don't know i don't know what it happened but it's almost as if yes i want to know the godfather and why the controller of prison allowed them Instead of putting Bobriski in a correctional facility, they took him and gave him a lodge outside the prison. I don't know that it's allowed. I didn't know that was allowed. But anyways, there are more videos to come. Do you understand? This is just part one. First. Part one. We'll see where part two they be. Don't play. <laughs> you gotta learn. And you will learn the hard way. I don't care. Don't play. Bobriski don't pay you. <laughs> As you can see, Bobriski have transferred 4 million naira uh to the guy he has transferred the four million naira to the guy what is annoying before he transferred the money oh boy see me score but brisky call call see me score he says send your account number and get your refund miss call miss call the guy no answer he say please send me your account number let me pay your money the guy no answer he call he say i'm still here asking for your account number you want your money back the guy no answer then the guy called tell and say Firstly, I need you, I need a written apology statement for blackmailing and to cover all expenses incurred towards your behavior. Now, Bob Risky say, I will send everything. I will send five million. <laughs> he says, send account number. The guy no answer. I can't go back to the chat. I can't carry the account number. I can't send four million there. I just say, you decrease. Yeah, I just say you say come very down. You know now. You know what's annoying now is that the other part of the video I can't post it anymore. Now we don't pay. They pay me. See, I know if you post the other side again. So that more names go, they come aside. Hmm? If for good many more names, just they come aside. Because I can never understand what is going on in this country. So Bob Risky was sentenced by the court to be remanded for Spraying money, they went to go and give him an apartment. According to his uh, call, they gave him an apartment. That's number one. Number two, EFCC, according to his call, collected 15 million naira to drop money laundry charge. That is crazy, bro. So you can pay EFCC to drop charge. I didn't know. Yeah, I was thinking, okay, these people are fighting for corruption. If you not ever hear me, Criticize your old boy again, change my name. Me, Otter Martins Vincent, I will, I will never. When the institution has failed, my only advice to your old boy is to live on our black people. Not anybody on our own neck. What's their business? The government, ah, if the FCC, if the condolent, I will say, who are we? Who are we? If they inside their own system, they collected money? This is crazy. Thank you for watching our videos at G Dynamic Tube TV.